All right, so this is for my Patreon patrons. Y'all will be the first ones to see this here at the Odin, this, the cell room. So this is the cell culture room, which is the newest room we're working on. It's really cool. I'm super excited about it. So right now, it's just kind of painted, and we have like, uh, you know, a few things in here, incubator and stuff. Not a whole lot going on just yet, but by the end of the week, we're gonna have uh, an inverted fluorescent microscope, micro manipulators, micro injectors. Uh, we've got some embryos coming. We've got um, uh, uh, another incubator coming. We've got liquid nitrogen. We've got uh, a negative 80 now. We've got all the things you would need to do some really crazy stuff. So this is the fun thing. So I'll be the first ones to hear about this stuff. So within like a week, maybe two weeks, uh, we're gonna be starting on um, uh, embryo micro injection. We're starting with like zebrafish and stuff like that. So the cool thing is those embryos uh, are bigger and easier to work with. So practice with them a little bit, make some genetically engineered zebrafish, and then moving on to mouse embryos. Some, so I'm gonna be using my uh, dog GFP plasmid um, and then I'll take that and, and insert that into a mouse embryo with embryo microinjection. And so, uh, I can then take the embryo microinjection, um, and try to make a mouse, right? So we were, we were doing a lot of looking into, um, uh, uh, ex- utero um, uh, 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 growing of embryos, right? So like growing embryos outside the uterus, like in a, in a petri dish or in a, in a plate or something. And we have I had this amazing brainstorming session earlier today that I wish you guys could have been there for. But um, in a week, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what the cell room looks like with all the cool stuff in it. But um, we've got some really interesting ideas for trying to grow a mouse. So far they've been able to get them about halfway through gestation, uh, just in a, uh, just in a, a Petri dish with, with some like extra oxygen and stuff like that. But we've got some really great ideas. There's some places we think we can immediately make improvement with the media and things like that. But also uh, we've got some really, really interesting ideas for trying to go a little bit further with it. Uh, it would be really amazing really amazing if we could grow a mouse all the way to gestation uh, uh, artificially um, and if we could uh, there's really not much stopping me from doing the same thing with dogs right um, more complex longer more difficult in a lot of ways but not impossible and this room this room's gonna have all the equipment necessary to do everything, everything. You know, like, I'm still gonna be working on sperm mediated gene transfer, of course. But, in terms of downstream testing, testing things on um, uh, mouse embryos and, and things like that, even uh, something I'm particularly excited about, somatic cell nuclear transfer, will be totally doable with the equipment we have. So somatic cell nuclear transfer is cloning, right? So you can grow cells, whatever tissue, uh, and including genetically modify this tissue as you're, as you're growing it, just as like a, 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 a tissue culture, right? Um, and then uh, suck out the nucleus of that and put it into an egg cell or an embryonic stem cell and then propagate that into a whole embryo and then grow that. So you could grow like genetically engineered, whatever, really complex, elaborate genetic engineering, you know, uh, check it, you know, you've got a or stable culture of these genetically engineered cells, then do somatic cell nuclear transfer, and you end up with a genetically modified clone of the original, which is a fairly standard technique, uh, fairly standard. There's still only like a handful of people in the world really doing it. Um, but the really amazing thing is, like, this is a huge step for biohackers in general. Um, like, I really can't express 
how amazing it is and how much more accessible it is than I thought it would be. Uh, so it, it, it's really going to be powerful and transformative and this little room is going to be the start of a whole bunch of it. Um, and we've got a bunch more workbenches coming in and a bunch more equipment and in a week it's going to look all different. Right now it's just kind of painted and this little conference room is going to become a place where we can do basically magic. I mean that's what it feels like, right? It just feels like I have to, every time we get a new piece of equipment coming, like, oh, we got this micro manipulator, or we got this micro injector coming, and all this sort of stuff, like, I have to, like, restrain myself from getting too emotional because, I don't know, it's huge. It's huge. It's so much more than I ever thought I would get a chance to do. Um, so I really can't express how grateful I am. Uh, to all the people who have helped me out, uh, including all my Patreon patrons who's, who've allowed me to do all this work so that I can learn all these things, so that I can get better and get good enough to be in the place where I am now, to be doing these things now. It's, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how life can be. Uh, and so just thank you to everybody because this is beautiful and amazing and I'm so happy.